Hey there, Ken. Hope you're doing well. Um, hope you're not getting snowed in up there. Um, this is your video lesson for today. Um, uh, I'll go ahead and kind of discuss what I kind of found in the um, in the song "I Feel for You." Uh, if you have any questions at the end of this thing, or want me to explain more, or are confused by something, do not hesitate to shoot me a message. I don't mind at all. Um, I love talking about this stuff, and this one's an interesting one too. Um, in a way, it's kind of like metal. <laughs> um, I think someone went to school when they wrote this right here. Um, uh, it's the same way I approach um, analyzing like technical metal and things like that. I don't think necessarily of the time signatures, I think of, of the count. Um, and I think it's, it's why I call rock and roll counting. Um, what's interesting is if you like analyze it classically um, or a traditional analyzation um, or analysis, uh, it's, it, the time signature in the beginning is 7-4 and he switches into 4-4. Four, four. And that's why I was throwing you, throwing you guys off when you're trying to figure it out. Um, basically, it claps out like this. I'll clap it for you first. Um, one, two, three, one, two, uh, I'll do it without the claps in the middle. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two. Like that. Um, so that first that first count is what makes it a different time series. I would mean, you know, for honest with you, I might think of it as an additive rhythm, but um, I'm I'll make nerd out on this thing. Um, so the first thing that he does in there. Because the the regular pattern in this song is one two three four one two one two one two three four one two one two one two three four one two one two and what he does in the beginning he throws you off in the first part he does this one two three one two one two instead of going one two three four one two one two so he takes a he takes a beat away and it makes it seem kind of like off kilter a little bit um, I just did the first ten seconds just for the intro so I had time for today. Um, but I have a sneaking suspicion, um, if we look further into the song, this pattern just cycles through. And I remember saying before, there's something called the hypermeter where it takes like you so long, right? What's what I was teaching Sebastian is, um, is, um, is that it takes you, you start here, right? And it takes you so long to cycle through the entire pattern. We all kind of land together over here. Um, it's sort of kind of like that, where the pattern takes, um, it takes actually one, two, three, four, five, six measures of four, four plus a measure of seven. So really, it's kind of cool. It's pretty ingenious. Um, he has six plus one is seven, but the seven is almost two measures long. So it ends up being eight. It ends up being eight in total, but he takes one beat away is the way I would think it's just you know, three, four plus four, four plus a bunch of more four, four measures. Anyway, the more important thing is how to play it. Um, so what you'll do is, first thing I would do with this thing is just count it. Um, I've written out the count for you up here in, in, with, with additive rhythms, um, meaning that plus is in between each, each thing. And I would sit around just doing this. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two. You gotta like ingrain that in yourself to play this with the right feel. Um, otherwise, you're gonna be playing from like note to note, and it won't capture the spirit of what they're and the, and the complexity of what they're doing. Um, so I would really sit around going one two three one two one two, like just do that first little bit right there, the one two three one two one two. I would like be in the car on a work call, I hit mute, um, making dinner, you know, out in the garage. One two three one two one two. And you gotta when you gotta count it. You gotta count it with feel. You can't do this. This is what my teen students do when I'm asking them to count. Their counting is not cool to them. One, two, three, one, two, one, two. See how everything's kind of like lackadaisical? And one, two, three. It's, you can't count like that. You have to kind of get, get into it. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. And then you get that, that you'll be getting, you get that rhythm going. So I was there going one, two, three, one, two, one, two, and just do that part over and over again. And then what I would do is do the one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two. Literally sit there as you're driving the car. One, two, three, one, two, one, two. Honk, honk your horn, I guess. Uh, you can tap the steering wheel. I do that a lot when I'm driving the car and I'm listening to a complex rhythm. I'll sit there try to figure it out and I'll be like tapping on stuff. And I'm on my morning run. Um, not that you have to go running, uh, but I'm not one morning run. Now I'm listening. I'm deep listening to music. I'm like doing the studio thinking for the day. And I'm like listening to a rhythm and I'll like try to work it out in my head. That way when I come home, um, I'll sit down at my, my desk here and I'll try to like write out what just happened. Um, 
So anyway, so so the first thing is, like I said, is you gotta clap this thing. You gotta clap that rhythm. You gotta like ingrain it in you to feel, make it feel natural. Um, if you want to send me back a video of you of you uh, doing the clapping and counting, you know, by all means do it. I can let you know if it's everything is sounding good or not. So now that we've got the rhythm out of the way, the next thing here are the pitches. And this one's actually kind of interesting too because it's also what Sebastian and I are talking about, uh, which is modal harmony. Um, this one right here um, is an A Dorian. Um, a Dorian, you've, I'm sure you've heard it throughout, you've heard it throughout your life. Um, it's used by um, like jam bands, um, like Grateful Dead, things like that. A lot of folk music is written in Dorian, like sea shanties and things like that. Like if you listen to this style of music, um, say like, like, um, uh, like country western or things like that, you'll hear a lot of Dorian there. A lot of, um, a lot of traditional folk melodies are going to be Dorian. Um, it's found all over the place and it's what Sebastian and I are analyzing and funny enough a lot of modern melodies is it too. Um, so you can ask him about, um, about, about the modes and he'll may tell you a little bit about them. Um, so the, I'll show you the pitches first. Um, and it revolves around A minor. So the, the harmony is A minor. Uh, the harmony is, is, is A minor, and it begins and ends on that A. So the first thing is, um, I have the tab right here. I'm pointing out like you can actually read it right now. But um, it's basically just for the pitches, uh, open five, open six, three on the sixth string, two on the sixth string, zero on the, um, on the fifth string, two, one. That's kind of cool right there. He kind of goes outside a little bit. Two, one, zero. He walks it through, but it's still modal. And then three, zero, zero, three. So I'll go ahead and play that really slow for you, okay? So the first thing you're gonna do is just like get the, don't worry about the timing with it. Worry about just like learning the, how like the, the notes kind of flow. It's just, just like where, where, where your fingers go and when. Um, or actually where the fingers go, worry about the when later. So the first thing is zero, zero. So I'm not worried about counting it right now. I'm just trying to figure out how it flows. And once you can kind of play the notes in, in, in sequence without um, any sort of real hesitation, um, that's when I would put the counting into it. Because if you're trying to do the counting and or in the pattern at the same time, um, it's gonna be like a rough weekend because you're trying to do two hard things at once. First, counting this thing, which is pretty tricky to count. Um, and secondly, um, you're trying to learn a pattern while doing that. Um, and also too on the recording, there's like all kinds of counter rhythms happening um, that you can, that I had to kind of tune out and just focus really on the guitar. Um, but what we'll do is we'll try to maybe maybe figure out those counter rhythms as well uh, too. So so I've written out here on the tab um, below um, the count. And, and so the zero right there, the first thing is one, two, three, one, two, one, two, up to speed would be one two three one two one two one two three four one two one two one two three four one two one two one two three four one two one two and yeah, back to the beginning and I also have a even though I haven't looked too far too much further ahead I have a sneaking suspicion of like this is the theme of the of the of the tune so once you get down this like the this is where all the groundwork is laid um so up to speed Oh, I messed it up. Let <laughs> me try again. Oh, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Now, the reason I messed up is because I, I stopped counting there for a second and it threw me off. That's how important counting is that even, even me, right? Not that I'm super awesome or anything like that, but um, in my 25 years of experience of playing this thing, um, I still got to count this bad boy. Um, counting a lot of a lot of heavy stuff in there um please please feel free to shoot me back a message um uh if with any questions you have or if you want me to take a listen to anything make sure I can is good um maybe Sebastian can tell you tell you a little bit about how modes work and targeting tones work things like that and why this is Dorian and you can look it up on uh, on the YouTubes and it'll tell you I mean, you can probably watch videos on how how the modes work or how Dorian works um if you want to do theory that's like you know further down the road with theory but 
we can, if you find it, if you find that interesting, we can talk more about that too. All right, man, take care. I'll see you next time.